welcome to dogs at our headquarters. This is our porch and, and we keep our dogs barking. <laughs> and here is uh, we put uh, some of our uh, herbs here too. It's really hot play so they dry really quickly. This is our dog called Hoppa which means a wolf and he's the noisy oh. fellow <laughs> and there that dog there that's that's called repo which means fox welcome to our home and for a small tour this is our kitchen i love to cook so i'm loving it that there is a lot of space uh, this is an old house it, it was built in in uh, 1950s by my husband's grandfather and we bought this house from the family and uh, we, we have been renovating this for I think it's seven years now so it's a lot of work so let's see what we have done <laughs> and here is our dining room and here on the wall is one of my favorite artists it's a, he's an illustrator or was an illustrator John Bauer and this is a uh, moose <laughs> as we can see and I love this it's really lovely in our dining room on a really nice spot I, I collect a lot of uh, different kind of um, material or not material itself but really nice things and these are vintage or found from flea markets or something like that and these are my newest found. They are uh, bought from or actually ordered from New York. So I love them. I, I still don't know where to put them, but I want to keep them there. And here is our living room. It, there, here used to be a wall actually, but we wanted a little bit more open concept, even though this is an old house. So we opened it. And now it's a little bit more light. Now there is no light because it's really dark outside, but normally the sun is shining inside and it's really lovely. And there's also a lot of space for the doggies to eat their bones. Okay, let me show you some of the artworks that we have here because I'm a lover of art too and also my husband. So this one is ordered from Canada. And I really love the, I, I love bears, maybe some of dogs are fans already know that. And, and then there's, these are from the same artist, not this one, but these smaller ones. And they're from the US too. And this one here is uh, the, it's a vintage uh, painting. And also that one in the corner, I bought them from flea market. Okay, let's go upstairs. Follow me. This is a, a last renovated space and one of my favorites in the house and you're going to see why. Come on. Here is my monster wall and I'm going to fill up all of these, this wall with monster pictures. Let me show you some, some of these. It's the first one, it's a bird man. And this one is a, another artist's work, but it's also a bird man. And here is a werewolf. And here is one of our orbs. I'm not sure if you know what they are, but they are magical power orbs. And there's my, I made that polar bear on the stairs from clay. Here, come on. It's our office room, or actually a multi-purpose room, where we do our work and whatever it is at the moment. But still, it's this is the place where I handle all the all the orders from Dogs on Web Store, and that's why we have a lot of different kind of packing materials and not looking so nice, maybe. And behind these walls and this door, there's all of our uh, t-shirts and everything that we have in our 
docs are a web store, but it's so messy I don't show you that. And here we have some uh, music equipments. Not much because I have uh, also a singing studio in Helsinki. And so that's why we only have little things. So a small drum set. And then uh, I read keys. And that's all I need at home. So I can make music. And here are Sami's guitars. And then I'm going to show you one thing. These orbs that I was talking about. They are here waiting for to be sent out. And they come in these lovely packages too. Okay, let me show you some of my favorite books. I'm sure that you're going to recognize some of these. I have Tolkien's, uh, all the Lord of the Rings in really nice covers. And of course this one. I was talking about this Jon Bauer when we were downstairs. Um, one of my favorite illustrators and his work. There's a lot, lots of his pictures and stories, fairy tales for children. <laughs> and, and one of my really favorites is this one. They're really, really, really lovely. A dragon lass. Flashback from my youth. Because it, Dragonlands what really inspired me to do Dance with the Dragon, maybe. So, dragons and lots of adventures. Really nice one. I haven't read it that in years, but still. And I'm not sure if you know this one. It's also from J.R.R. Tolkien. It's Tom Bombadil Adventures. I'm not sure if it's same translated to English, but a lovely story for children. And of course, Sherlock Holmes, one of my really big favorites. I love those stories. And then Harry Potters, of course. <laughs> and then, what should I show you? Maybe a Kalevala. I think every Finn should own a Kalevala. It's a Finnish epic, if you don't know that. Yeah, maybe. That's it from my bookstore. <laughs> Not so my, my many books, but still favorites is enough. Yeah, because other books you can always read from. Okay, follow me. There's still something to see. So here is my um, is my jewelry studio. It's a really small one, and uh, again a multi-purpose room, but it's uh, enough for me at the moment. So here I have some really nice nice stones I'm going to show you. So I ordered them from uh, many different parts of the world. And here are tourmalines. They are really, really, really lovely. Beautiful stones that you can see through them. And here are some of my ready works. And these uh, dogs are jewelry. And here is a pink amethyst ring made to sterling silver. And it's a really sparkly one. And here... It's made from fossil stone. It's a russet fossil. It's, it has been actually a fish and it has a golden band. One of my personal favorites. And then, one of my necklaces. This is made from copper. Here I have some tools. Of course I need to have tools. Jewelry saw. And some pawns. A lot of different hammers actually. <laughs> Let me show you my power tool. Of course, safety first. Everywhere at the moment too, we know where to use these. And then some safety for my eyes, goggles. And I have this drill 
that I used to make a lot of different things. It's a really important tool for jewelry making. And here's our bedroom. A trip to Greece, I always say, because it's... Uh, I don't like the combination of the white and this certain blue color, because it feels like a trip to Greece. <laughs> okay, so let's go downstairs again. And here is going to be a bathroom, but it's full of junk at the moment, so I'm not going to show you that. So, here it is. Nice that you stayed with us uh, on this uh, tour to our home. And stay safe. Bye-bye.